Chill for me, chill for you, chill for chill everyone for in the room. So, <laughs> this is actually really funny. It is. Because for ev- everyone who's ever watched Collider Jedi Council and just thought, that Christian Half is a massive bell end. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm not an avid watcher, to be honest with you. I'm not. But. Um, this whole thing exposes a wide fucking hole yes. in the business of yes getting freebies really and 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 and, tr- and being a fake fan it does um now well coming back to like you say you don't um you've not been an avid watcher or what about i know i directed you to it a little bit but that was because when we started force talk uh michael um, wanted us to kind of be the UK version of that, right? Um, because and, and I mean, and I I don't know now still because um, it's difficult to 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 sift through all of the all of the various channels and stuff um, that there are on YouTube, but yeah. I'm not sure how stronger. On YouTube, anyway, I'm not sure how strong there is. There is a group of British Star Wars podcasters. No, no, I, 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 um, I don't know. No, I mean the the ones I I tend to tune into uh, tend to be American, mm-hmm. um, with with the one or two exceptions. Um, Ruin the Man Baby being one because he's <laughs> yeah. funny, you know. Uh, yeah. He is very good. He's very funny, you know, and, and 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 people get really upset about him. On the other side of the thing, uh, uh, fence, and they shouldn't really because it's all, it's all just a joke. Yeah. At the end of the day. Yeah, of course it is. You know. But people are losing the ability to have to take a joke these days. Yeah, aren't they? Yeah, it's, it's very yeah. true. It's very true. People get offended at the drop of a hat. Yeah. And um, they shouldn't really. But anyway, nobody was hurt in this show. <laughs> no animals were harmed, yeah. <laughs> yeah. and no Islamic cartoons were used. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who can't take a fucking joke, yeah, 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 yeah. See, <laughs> Billy, 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 Billy. You are a man. Always the Billy. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so. Coming back around to this bell end off Collider. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it was it, Michael used to, used to hate on Harloff all the time. All right. So, um, so I'm feeling this is quite satisfactory for him today. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so um, Pitsy Channel, which I haven't. This is the first thing I've seen from them. Um, but you know they've got one hell of a following and and. If you read the the little blurb on their title, it just literally says "Watch as man grows." Oh, no, sorry. This is the that's the description for this video. Watch as man as grown man throws his fit on it. Yeah. <laughs> so um, so yeah, basically, how off what did I cancel? And um, been around for like um, five years. Um, and as this video sh- shows up um, from world class bullshitters. The video is entitled The Disney Shill uh, Star Wars Meltdown. Now, apparently, um, whoever it was, another YouTube grabbed this footage of Harloff off. Um, it's not off Jedi Council, it's one off, off one of the other Collider shows. Oh, yeah. And um, so Harloff basically goes into a. starts going into a rant about. I drink it. It's like, I didn't get invited to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm not reporting on somebody else's report. Yeah, I'm not going to report on that because I didn't get asked, and and you know, um, and and, I, and I've been busting my ass being a Star Wars fan for five years. Since when is being a fan of something a job? Really, mm. you know. If it's an effort to be a fan, guess what? You're not. You're not a fan. You're a shill. Yeah. yeah. You're a shill. Shill, shill, shill. So, um, shilly, 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 so he basically shilly. just went into a into a bit of a rant about <laughs> it, 
Then he's spat the dummy. Spat the, the dummy. Out the cots. Then his producer starts chiming in. He has a massive got the producer. Yes. And says, get someone else to host it. That's the other and blah, blah, blah. Now, as this guy points out on, on the... As World Class Bullshit has pointed out, it shows it shows the whole thing up for what it is like that you know this producer is basically like trying to rein him in, you know, if you're if you're an honest podcast yeah you might have a producer but surely it's somebody who's part of the thing like these yeah. just seem like because before that he's saying well I was content uh, management before you and this that and the other and it's like well so he obviously started it and then as it gets bigger they bring in teams of people and yeah. Yeah. you know people who told the com- company line but as you say for um, Jedi Council from what I can see are like a sort of less slightly less sanitised version of of the super awesome Star Wars show on uh, you yeah, know the, yeah. the, 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 the proper official the perfect teeth show <laughs> the perfect teeth show <laughs> <laughs> are you excited about seeing and so movie? Not really. Um, mm, so, not really. Not really. Um, I can't. I wish I could do it. It's one of the voices I can't do. It <laughs> kills me. I just can't. Like my voice goes deep when I'm tired. Oh, yeah. Even I can't get Harrison Ford. No, deep. Well, I'm, I'm not perfect. I don't I know mean, anyone yeah. can get Harrison Ford deep. Yeah, you just always start with a. <sighs> <laughs> He's not that grumpy. Um, no. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, the. Um, the, it, the shills for Disney are sickening, sickly sickening. You know what I mean? You, you just face palm every time you see a tweet off them or a video like this or what have you. And now I must, I must say, um, well, you spend you spend more time on Twitter than I do, so you get I to do, see yeah. more, you get to see more of this. You're you're a Twitterer. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Twitterer. Um, I wish I hadn't started on Twitter. To be honest with you, it sucks you in. It's like a <laughs> it's like a black hole. <laughs> A blue hole. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. It's awful, man. It's like a gambling addiction almost. You know, like... well, but... Social media is like crack anyway. Well, it is, yeah. yeah you're whole... always after that hit. That's the whole thing. Yeah. How many yeah. people like me thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's just off topic for a minute. Did you see that painting that turned up when... Because uh, Trump's been over there doing his... Talking his shit as usual. Aye. Yeah, yeah. And... Um, some did this piece, this painting of uh, Trump and Martin Luther King facing off on each other. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Martin Luther King's got the, the dove. doves, and he's and Trump's got the Twitter, the Twitter blue bird. Yeah, yeah. Which I thought yeah, was modern uh, art at its finest. Quite, quite terrific. Yeah. Well, not, but modern art as in it's new, but not modern art. You know, they didn't. Somebody didn't put like a bed in a yeah <laughs> with dirty knickers in a in the middle of yeah, a yeah. gallery and yeah so it's all that darling <laughs> piece of chewing gum on a wall look at yeah, that yeah yeah oh, that's amazing all right put like a urinal in a in a gallery yeah anyway anyway fuck all that um <clears throat> so so yeah sorry you 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 were talking about them on the on the old Twitter machine. the shields on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I see it every day. And, and you know that they're only in it because there's there's not one criticism of Disney, of Lucasfilm, of any Star Wars movie. And if there is, it's only slight. You know, it's, it's possible. So tell the football high line so they can get the free shit. And they, and, and they do. And they, are, they, they do. They get the, the celebration... Um, interviews, they get these um, press passes, they get invited to Galaxy's Edge uh, grand opening and all this sort of stuff. And uh, you know, I've got to say, with a lot of these, and Harlow didn't get to go. Um, yeah, with a lot of these as well, you've got a decent following on YouTube, but other channels like Geeks and Gamers has double their following. You know, and to me, those are the people that are telling the the truth and being honest. Mm-hmm. You know, they're not they're not being offensive. They're not. They're just being down to earth, honest about the feelings and what's going on. So, anyway. So there you go. There you go. So, um. But yeah, I mean, that Chris Harloff exposed it. You know, he's like, I've been 
shilling for five years. Busting my ass being a Star Wars fan. Yeah. yeah. Can't tell you how hard it is working to get free shit. And now I'm not getting free shit. Mm. Think about how, Christian, think about how hard we work to waste our money on Star Wars stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to not be able to afford to go to these things. Exactly. So, exactly. you know, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so I just thought that was very satisfying so um, yeah. oh yeah did, did this not come in you had something about Marvel as well was that not a oh, oh yeah this is, is that connected to this is that a show <clears throat> thing um, well I I'll, I can mention it now when uh, oh, was a, there was an interview with um, a pro- up and coming producer oh, I'm not sure who she's I've never really seen her before she's called uh, Victoria Alonso okay um, and she's talking about the future of Marvel um, and the interviewer says oh you know it's going to be great the future you know you can bring the X-Men into this and all that sort of stuff and um, one of the first things she says back to this interview was you know it's funny how you called them the X-Men it's a bit I think it's a bit out of date the uh, that term you know and That's, then she goes on from there and it's, um, it's not funny how you called them the X-Men because they called the X-Men uh, it's not funny. How long ago? How long ago did Stanley create him? For about fifty years or something. Like yeah, that? roughly. Yeah, uh, yeah. It, it's been decades. And they've always been called the X Men. Yeah, so it's not funny. It's just it's normal. It's they call the X Men, and it's not like it's just because it's full of men. We know there's women in there as well. I think it's a generalization. Yeah, like you know, mankind. Like you know, mankind. Yeah. You know, it's what is the world coming to? Honestly. What's going on? Well, Send your answer in on a self-addressed postcard. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because I ain't got a clue. I, I just... Oh, the world's going mad. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Send your answer on the back of a gender-fluid p- postcard. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you put your pronouns on there. So anyway. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so, um, yeah. I think we're done with the shills. Shill off. Shill off.